Okay, so I got kind of a new video idea here, and just bear with me because this is something I haven't done before, but I think it'll be kind of cool. As many of you know, OTB is always graciously sending me new discs to try out and review, and there have been a couple that have been sent out my way that I haven't been able to review, uh, a couple first run discs from Discraft. So I thought it'd be fun to take three, a putter, a mid, and a driver, and do a little nine hole challenge with all these first run discs, two of which I've never thrown before, one of which I have the prototype in my bag. So we have the drive here. We got a first run drive. We have a first run swarm, a disc I've never thrown before. Pretty excited to try out. And then a first run Kratos, which will be interesting because I'll throw it a little bit. And I think it's a pretty good throwing putter. I've seen some people throw it, but I'll also be putting with it. And it's gonna be completely different than the putter that I putt with, especially considering that it's beat it. So I'm gonna play the whites at Shadow Pines. I think it should show all three of these discs pretty well. I should be able to throw them all off the tee and get a good idea of how they fly. And we'll do a little challenge. I don't know, we'll say, try to beat three under. I say three under is probably a pretty good score. If I can get to four under or better, I'd be pretty happy. All right, so we should be able to get a birdie here on hole one. We're throwing all three discs, hopefully. Drive off the tee, swarm up shot, and then hopefully putting with the Kratos for birdie. I threw a couple terrible practice shots here, so I really don't even know how this flies because I threw them right into the trees. I'm gonna give it some Anheuser, and we'll see if it fights out. Uh, I kinda, I'm just feeling the Anheuser release into this gap right now. Oh, yeah, it's understable. <laughs> All right, definitely turned into a roller a little bit. I thought it was gonna be more stable because it feels a little stiffer, but I think it's actually pretty similar stability. We'll get a better feel for it. Swarm up shot from probably about 220 feet. Going forehand, Let's see how it feels. Oh, that's very overstable. All right, I got a long putt to make. I think I about got the distance right. It's just a little more stable than I thought. <sighs> you got a headwind putt with a beaded putter. Kind of a tester. Like 30 feet. Let's see if we can make it. I haven't putt with a beaded putter in like probably a year, year and a half. Oh! Yikes, it's kind of overstable. I'm not used to a putter that's that overstable. All right, so first hole down, couldn't get the birdie. I, I really am used to like the P2, which is maybe less stable and like my P2s are more beat in, but I thought I actually put that really well and it, I don't know if it came across very well on camera, but it was going right towards the basket and kind of dumped out. It kind of felt like when I putt with my, my Toro or a zone or something, and it's just like, why am I putting with this overstable putter? And I kind of thought it has the same flight numbers as a Luna, or at least I think, 3303. And the Luna is not, it doesn't fly like that at all. It flies more like a P2, I think. But this maybe is more overstable than the Luna. We're about to find out now. Um, in the Swarm, more overstable than I thought, although it, it, its flight numbers suggest that. I probably should have expected that. The drive, about as stable as I expected, I kind of threw it bad. So I'm gonna throw this like kind of flat, kind of hard flat like not gonna try to flip it up because I don't think this thing's gonna flip up too much. Well, we'll see. Also not a huge fan of throwing beaded putters either. Oh, it's so overstable. I expected it to flip a little bit. All right, clearly I didn't learn from the putt, but it is more overstable than I thought. I kind of expected it to just be a Luna with a B, but I guess it isn't quite that. Actually, no, we'll jump putt. We'll just jump putt it. Oh, see you on hole three. It's funny, I've had this Kratos sitting in my apartment like pretty much since it came out and I had this idea in my head of how it was gonna fly. Completely wrong, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm throwing it bad, but it seems to be way more overstable than I expected. Let's get a little bit of Heiser flip action out of the drive here. I've actually thrown my drive in my bag on this hole before, so it should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and I threw it way too low. All right, we're gonna have a fun swarm up shot from there. Let this be a lesson to any of you. Learn how your discs fly before you throw them. But I'm gonna try and throw this Kratos one more time here. I think it's about 250, kind of downhill, so it should be good. I'm gonna try and give it some 
some Anheuser, I guess, or like throw it pretty flat and see if it fights out. I feel like I haven't really seen the flight of this disc yet. I've thrown it into a tree and then putted it once. So let's see what it does. What? It literally just turned over the entire way there. I don't, it turned over the entire way. Maybe it'll, maybe this will be different. Maybe it was the wind. Maybe I putted it bad before and threw it bad before. I'm very confused about how this disc is supposed to fly. Oh, that was close. These guys behind me were playing the whites, then the other tee, now they're playing the blues. This should be a pretty straightforward swarm shot. I'm gonna let it go away right because I know it's overstable. Oh, it's too overstable. Sit down. Sit. Oh, checked up. I mean, aside from the drive, which I haven't been throwing very well anyways, I'm basically throwing three discs I've never thrown before. And it's pretty windy. So, I don't know. Let's, maybe I can make a easy putt to finally get a birdie here. This challenge is going down the drain, it seems. Oh my god, I suck. It feels so weird in my hand. All right, I want to make it clear. I don't think these discs are bad at all. I just have, I'm not, they're not doing what I want them to when I release them from my hand, especially the putter. Putting with, I've been putting with the same putters for the past year, gotten very used to it, and like the plastic, the plastic between these two feels so much different. Like there's nothing bad about this. It actually feels kind of nice, but this disc, th this feels so much different in my hand and the bead like really throws off my release because it just feels awkward. And I used to putt with a beaded putter, but I never put my finger under it. I actually always put my finger on the outside when I putt with a beaded putter. So putting with a beaded putter with my finger under it, it feels really weird. I, I just want to get like, I'd be happy with like two down now. I should be able to birdie pretty much every hole on the front nine of this course on the whites, but I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble here. So let's just go drive. Let's just throw it flat, get it to turn over. Pretty straightforward hole. <sighs> I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> this is probably the most frustrated I've ever been during a video before. Oh, okay, that went really far. A little more right than I wanted to, but it has a really nice flip to it. It seems to want to move like left to right a lot more suddenly than the drive that I have in my bag. That's kind of the first thing I noticed now. Um, maybe good, maybe bad. It's not really what I, I liked about my drive, but uh, it also might be because it's windy. It's a little windy out here today. All right, I may have put myself a little bit too far right here but the swarm stability might actually be able to save me here a little bit. I'm gonna throw it hard flat and see if I can get far right enough to get like a skip back to the basket. And I'll probably try to give it a little bit of height. The wind is kind of a tailwind though, so I feel like it's gonna to be tough to get all the way right. And I haven't kind of pointed it out yet, but this thing is unbelievably flat, if you can see that. All right, let's try and just execute this shot. That looks really good. Get skipped, it'll be really, really good. Oh, a little bit of a tester. Finally made a putt. I think someone just hit the basket on the next hole. Finally got a birdie on what's probably the hardest hole to birdie up to this point. But I think I'm finally learning how to putt with this thing a little bit. Just feels really awkward in my hands, unfortunately. I got two options here. I can either go swarm forehand, kind of flex it through there, or I can just go back in with the Kratos. I feel like the swarm is a pretty self-explanatory disc, so I don't think I have to do a whole lot with that. I still kind of want to figure out this Kratos. So I'm going to try and like hit it hard flat, maybe get it to flip up. It did kind of turn over on me before, so I'm, I haven't quite, like I really don't have this disc figured out. I thought it was overstable, then I threw it on Anheuser, it didn't flight back out. So. We'll try and just throw it hard flat. Maybe I was just throwing it too soft, wasn't warmed up enough. Give it a shot. Okay, I got about pin high. See, that's what I'm talking about. You guys saw on hole three, 
when I threw in a little bit of Anheuser, it literally just went right the entire way. I don't know if that was wind or whatever. I just threw it pretty much flat, a tiny bit of hyzer. Did not flip up at all. So it either turns over or it hyzers out. Like, I don't know how to get this disc to just go straight. I mean, it did push straight for a while, but very bizarre flight. Okay, I'm like kind of far past it. And I think I hit this tree right here. So this is going even further. I think this hole's like, it said 260 on the T sign. So I'm probably one about 280. Seems like the Kratos can go pretty far. Like, I bet you I can get this thing out to like 350. It just has a weird flight where like hitting gaps feels really awkward. And uh, putting with it feels awkward because I don't like beta butters. But, uh, and I'm starting to warp it up a little bit too. Okay, I surely should be able to make this putt. It's about the same distance as the one I missed on hole four. But this time I'm gonna not leave it low. Yeah. All right, we're up to two birdies, so getting to that three, four under spot might actually be doable, despite having some exceptionally poor performances through the first five holes, or first four holes. I feel like I should have birdied like at least one or two of those, but this is like kind of a gimme with the swarm, I feel like. Hang it out right, it's like 250, 260, get it to dive back in, stay in on the island, should be pretty easy. I'm gonna hit it hard on like a flex line and get it to just bite back. Hopefully I can use the stability right this time because I've been underestimating the stability on this disc quite a bit. I do like it though. Very overstable, very reliable, very flat. God, it's so overstable. I literally thought I... Oh no. Oh, I literally think it hit the long grass right on the outside and didn't get the skip that I wanted. It, it fought out so hard. I thought I threw it so good. I don't know, we might have to now be putting for par from the hazard. Man, I really thought I threw this perfect. It was skipping back and just hit the super Velcro grass. Thought I was gonna get a skip back in bounds. Unfortunately, no. It might've went a little long too. Okay, well, I mean, it's a makeable putt, very makeable. But uh, man, the grass is like really short here and here, but it hit this little patch right here that's just like, all these weeds and didn't get a skip. And this certainly would have skipped to pretty much parked. I don't, I don't know. I feel like that should have got a pretty good skip and I got unlucky there. Jesus. No confidence with that putter at all. Too awkward for my hand. So normally I would throw a Firebird on a forehand through this left gap and get it to dump out. I do not think the swarm has enough, or at least I don't have enough arm to get the swarm there through that gap. So we're gonna have to go Kratos again. If I throw it on Heiser, it should just push. Although I kind of want it to turn. Like I want it to turn and then come back, which the disc has showed me that it doesn't want to do up to this point. Um, considering I made that putt and I think that should have skipped in bounds for an easy birdie. If I can birdie one of the next two and get to three down, I'll consider this a success. But uh, man, this has been it feeling a little better now. First couple of holes though, pretty frustrating. Just like couldn't figure out the discs, wasn't throwing them well. Like I said before, just a lesson. Don't throw discs you don't know. Learn how to throw them first. You never know what they're gonna do. Okay, I have like the lowest confidence in any of the throws that I've done today is in this shot right now. Oh, it started to flip too. Okay, we have like a super long putt. It actually started to flip up a little bit and just caught the last branch. I think it could have actually ended up being really good. Okay, I'm really gonna try and hit this putt. I really do wanna get to three down because I don't feel good about hole nine for a birdie. Okay, I think if I put it on Anheuser on like a long step putt, it should come back. I think. I really don't know at this point. It did, but I threw it way too far. All right, well, we can still birdie the last hole and maybe feel a little better about this. It's not looking good though. All right, the challenge is coming to an end. Hole nine, whites, probably the hardest birdie. So maybe you can get the three down, maybe you can't. You can kind of see the basket if you look really closely right in the middle there, you can see it just over the grass there. I've pretty much lost faith in the Kratos at this point. So haven't really gotten any success with it. Gonna throw the swarm, try to get past that tree coming back in, hopefully get an actual skip off the ground this time and uh, maybe get that birdie to get to three down and have a better 
latter half of a nine than I have on the front half. Anyway, let's just go. I'm just gonna pump it on forehand, let it fight back, because this thing is really overstable, and see what kind of putt we can get. It has a chance that it skips. No idea if it skipped. It's either great or terrible. All right, turns out it wasn't great or terrible. It was just very short. I got a long putt to make. Give it a go. Oh, God, every putt is like terrifying because I just am not confident in it at all. Yeah. All right. <sighs> okay. So in summary, the drive seems to be very similar to the one I had in my bag. It seemed to kind of have a bit more like movement, which would imply it's domier, but I don't really think it is. Maybe like a tiny bit, but it might just be that it's so windy out here that it was whacking stuff around a bunch. So I would say that the first run drive, successful run, like probably about the same as the prototype drive. So if you like the prototype, you'll like the first run. If you like the first run, well, good for you. The Swarm is a fantastic overstable approach disc. Um, kind of goes pretty far, honestly. There were a couple of throws where it kind of went further than I was expecting, given its stability. And you can pretty much always expect it to dump out. I would say it's very, very similar to the deflector in my bag, although not quite as overstable, like straight out of the box, which is kind of nice because the deflector is like almost too overstable right out of the box. So actually a huge fan of the Swarm. Definitely a great disc for people who love overstable stuff. Uh, so if you're a Discraft fan, you want an overstable mid-range, you have it right here. Uh, definitely more overstable than the Buzz OS. I know Discraft had like the Malta, which is also supposed to be very overstable. At least that's what I thought. Um, so I don't know like how this competes with that, but I guess, I don't know. I really like this. It's very flat, big fan. Then on to the problem child, which is the Kratos. It might just be the plastic. This is like a first run like putter plastic. So if you were to throw a Kratos, like maybe you wouldn't use this plastic, which I actually don't even know what this plastic is. I don't know if they have like a putter line or whatever, but I've only ever thrown like drivers and mid ranges from Discraft. So I threw it flat into a gap and it kind of just went left, it didn't flip up on me. Then it did flip up on me. And then I threw it on a little bit of Anheuser and it didn't fight out, it just turned over. And then I threw it on a hyzer and it just kind of hyzered out. Like it seemed, I don't know, I don't know if it was just me. I don't know if it was the wind, but it seemed like this disc never did what I wanted it to. And when I thought I figured out like, oh, okay, this disc is just a little more overstable. It's more true to the flight numbers. And I throw it on an Anheuser and it just never comes back. So I don't know. I have kind of observed that or at least retrospectively, now thinking about it, I don't think, I know a ton of pros that throw the Kratos. Like, AB throws Lunas, Paul throws Lunas. Uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of other Discraft players. I don't think any of them throw the Kratos. I think I've only ever seen one person throw the Kratos, and I'm pretty sure it was some like amateur guy local to here. So, not really sure about this disc. If you've had better results or similar ones, feel free to tell me, but it seems to be like super finicky and unreliable. So, I don't know, maybe it's a good, putting putter, but not a good throwing putter. Anyway, that's all. I'm done with those, and I failed the challenge. See you next time. Peace.